Hello everybody, it's Zalerla and Exiluvia. Again. We're doing episode two of Little Briar Rose. So far, Zalerla is not caring for it. No, I really am not. Uh, this is very much the clicking lots of stupid spots. Hmm. This is obnoxious. I do like the animation, though. I mean, I know it's simple animation, but... I think it works really well with the art style. And, but yeah, the, the whole fishing spot thing is like, that eh, wasn't super helpful. Really? Well, <sighs> roses aren't soft. Earth aren't yes, soft. they are! Well,. They're incredibly soft! Yeah, the bits aren't. There we go. Well, that makes it obvious. Makes what obvious? If you want the flower, you have to distract her. Oh, hey, look. It's obvious how to distract her. I think it's really obvious. Take a moment to fix my face? You've never heard a woman say that. I mean, I know I'm not girly, but sure, I'm sure you've heard other women say it. No! I guess that's the mirror, though, because you're bringing that up. Yeah, fixing their face is basically adjusting their makeup and their hair, and their jewelry, and all the other shit, you know, fixing their face. Yeah, I've never heard that before. You've heard the Eleanor Rigby song? Keeping her face in a jar by the door? The Eleanor Rigby song doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Their faces, her makeup, and the other things that you wear while going out. I always thought it was a figurative thing, like keeping her hopes in the jar by the door, not makeup or anything like that. It's basically she's always ready to get ready, but she never goes anywhere. Okay. So I gave her the wrong flower. Yes. A fruit from the sky. Here's me going around clicking everything again because I have no freaking idea what it wants. Well, there's always that little fairy you talk to. I'll give you, might give you a hint. You mean other than just to talk to everybody? Well, gee, that might be the useful thing to do then. Well, you talked to the merfolk this time around, or last time around, so maybe you should talk to the gnomes. I... okay. Well, I was just about to do that, but somebody made me go and talk to the fairy. Well, uh, What, you're saying I can't waste your time? You're wasting everybody's time. I'm not wasting everybody's time. I said you could. Or you could ask me. Which I'm going to. Okay. You have a fish.
All the brambles wouldn't stop a bird. I mean, if they're magic brambles to catch birds, I guess, maybe. Oh, they spelled fulfill wrong, I think. What? I think they spelled fulfill wrong. Uh, if it only had, if it was F-U-L-F-I-L, it matches everything else being the British style. Ah, uh, okay, right, right. They don't have two L's. I'll give you the cripple. What? what? You obtained the blood. Apparently they were friends. And they liked insulting each other. Okay. And now you have a cloud in your inventory. Yeah, I took it when this little kid was trying to jump over it. Hmm. Wait, what is that from? Pajama Sam. Oh, yeah, right. Or did you forget about that already? I was saying the little kid with the monkey tail that rides around on a cloud. That's Dragon Ball. Yeah, exactly. I was like, I don't remember him jumping over. I remember him riding on it. Grant you the honor of being the coordinator. Guess what? I have to do another stupid game. It's another stupid mini game that's unscoopable. I don't know what else I'm gonna do. Okay. Yeah, it's basically if you see bad thoughts like the Z's and the light bulbs, you click on them and leave the light bulbs alone. Leave light bulbs alone. Yes, I get it. This is thrilling. Such thrilling utter gameplay. You can like their hair though. Wow, that disappeared really fast. Yeah, it, it's going faster. Really? Yep, and it flipped. Which one did it count as? Uh, whichever one it ended on, which I think was the bad one. Waking up? Oh, I guess that's, that's a sleep yeah. thing. Hey, no, it's okay. 
said it was pretty good, so I'm assuming it's good enough. Yep. Good enough. Why would I want to play that again? Yeah, score of 100. Why would I want to play that again? Achievements. I don't care about achievements. Achievements. For the most part, achievements are pat out this gameplay with unfun gameplay. <laughs> Why would I want to do that? I play games to have fun. I didn't to... say you were going yeah. to. I'm saying why. You said, granted, Why I play you games to? now for weird videos, so there's that too. I mean, you also play Dark Souls and Rimworld, which isn't for, like, any sense of anything besides frustration and anger. No, see, Dark Souls is fine. Rimworld, <laughs> on the other hand, I'll agree with you, that's just frustration and anger. You have a very Besides, odd... Dark Souls is easier than Gothic and Gothic 2, and I play those. Yay, it's getting harder. You mean it's just getting tediouser? That too. Oh, so it only goes to exact spots. I think we saw that last time. Mm-hmm. Keep. Oh. Well, I chose that wrong. And that looks like it's partly going through the wall, so... Well, it's interesting, because I didn't actually lose on the fairy area when I played. Yes, well, there were a lot of choices that made sense. At least to crazy me. Yeah, well, why would it let you just do this right. infinitely if it didn't matter? Or if it didn't expect you to? Because, again, achievements. mind stuff like this in occasion, but the fact you have to do it four times and it's harder and it technically punishes you for using the hint system. I mean, you get achievements if you don't use the hint system is the thing. So it kind of punishes you for using it. And it's like, this is... This is a game I think that has a lot of nifty ideas and potential and then it just has a couple things It's like, uh -huh, I don't like this. I know that it does the glass breaking thing because this is supposed to be a stained glass look, but thorns breaking like glass, really? Hmm. Well, you haven't even met them yet and you're already being prejudiced. Yeah, no kidding. They look like weird little fennec green people, kind of. I think they're supposed to look like goblin -y things. Problem afoots you. Mm -hmm. My wonderful fairy will perform in front of everyone and all fun love with her. Kim de love I've been loving her since much before then. She doesn't even imagine it. Makes her a stylist.
Oh, it was limpy and horrible me. <laughs> yes, that's what's making me yeah, laugh. Yeah, I do that's like amusing. I do like some of these dialogues. Isn't it useful that I can help everybody? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I am but a prince, to be honest. Still is in prince too. Basically tell you who Which to talk to. Which fairy is it? The fairies who tailor her clothes. So I'm guessing it's the one I just gave the stuff to. Well, that's the first dancer. That he's interested in. Yes, the first dancer is the one he's interested okay. in. Okay. Yeah, you're not even going to be able to talk to these people until you get the color. Alright, well, you're just telling me I'm wasting my time. Well, I'm gonna waste your time on random stuff. Oh yeah, you've never done that before. No, I meant I said I was going to waste your time on random stuff because I did that before in this very video. Yep, I knew it was going to be red. How'd you know it was going to be red? Green, blue, red. Ah. Except that the blue and the red one are offering each other's colors. I actually clicked them on the other direction, so it's basically the first one will always say green, and the second one will say blue, and the third one will always say red. Because I clicked it So on the third left one was right. shy? The one the green dress was shy, yeah. So they don't even have set personalities. Apparently not. That's interesting. I did not know that. Anyways, so what color do you think is the correct color? One of them is correct, and the other two aren't. You can't just make something that has all three colors. No. Which is her favorite color? Is this supposed to be obvious, or is it just kind of random? Well, that depends on what your definition of obvious is. To me, green would be the best choice. Because Why? she has a big green head thing. Oh, she has that's green just and her purple hair. wings. I don't think you can change all of your wings. Yeah, can't ask her directly. Do you want me to give you a hint? Sure. Because this is not, not Which obvious. of the three actually mentioned what she likes versus what you should do? The blue one. Or... She mentions red. There you go. Okay. There's a gnome hat there. Yeah, they keep asking, you know, what would be good for a suitor, and they say, oh, green's good for a suitor because of tradition. Blue's good for a suitor because, you know, it matches her. The only one that actually said anything about what she actually liked was red. That's not a very good hint. 
because you don't know that she cares for herself more than she cares about tradition. Yeah, and or the meaning. Of I the know, color. I know. And it's also one of those things, like she likes the color. She said she was partial to red dresses. I'm like, that doesn't mean she wants red on a did on a suitor, but whatever. A dress of that color? They've been saying dress this whole time. I, I, well, they were talking about the first dancer, but, yeah. I didn't mean to click that. Oh well. Why would you even answer these others just to see what it says? To, to basically fuck it up and kill yourself apparently, I guess. gonna just kill me, isn't it? Just very obnoxious. <laughs> I'll talk to the cook. Am I just gonna die when it finally makes the dress wrong? What, you don't wanna see that and find out?
guessing that's the only one you can talk to. Or actually talk to. Currently. Why do I keep walking over her? It's gonna it's just bother tail. me all game. Yep. mostly how I cook, actually. Yeah, that's true. Unfortunately, this is not how you cook. Is this a mini game? Yes! It asks you, would, do you want a tutorial every single time? It's like, are they expecting you to play this game multiple times? Apparently. have to sit here for... Dragon Tail. What is Dragon Tail? Oh wait, we ran out of those yesterday. Ten seconds. I'm paying attention, you know. Okay. There's no onions. I couldn't even tell that was an onion. It's annoying that that one dialogue thing is covering mm -hmm. this thing. It didn't say how many seconds. He did perfectly. I didn't manage that. You got a 100% on that cooking recipe. Yay. Supposed to remember these? No. That one was just silly. Is there another one down here? Or is that just that? No, just that one. For here. Talk to the gnomes. He talked to the 
merman and he took the bird. I figured as much, since it did say everybody. You didn't include the fairies, though. Right, that's my fake. That was a previous... That was my failure with the fairies. What's interesting, though, is it says the failure of the fairies makes a little fairy in that area, so it's weird it made a gnome here. It's probably a number of failures or something. Mm. Why are you speaking French? Because he's an artist gnome. Okay. Puzzle. There's a puzzle. You keep losing focus. I have no idea what you're talking about. I fear I got distracted. He can't remember a single word. What the hell? What the hell what? What are you talking about? What is this talking about? You're trying to get information out of him, but you're getting too distracted to actually remember any of the information he's giving you. Okay. That's a puzzle. How is that a puzzle? I didn't know that's one of the ones I had to look up in the walkthrough too. Because <laughs> like I'm missing a thing, and it's like, yeah, you got to figure out how to keep your focus while you're talking to that dude. Because I had talked to the carpenter before I talked to the artist, so I didn't realize it was going to give me a second line of dialogue about, hey, this is how you focus. Uh, really? Yep, really. Am I supposed to be clicking on it? No, but... Hey, look! <clears throat> hey, give me the information! Do I need to remember any of this? Kind of. Do you remember what the painting was of? No. I lost my focus. <laughs> Good thing I have somebody with a walkthrough up. Oh, that's cheating. Says the person who just <laughs> said I needed to use a walkthrough for I this. needed to use a walkthrough because I didn't realize I had to talk to the carpenter again. You already figured out the thing I need the walkthrough for. So there. Great. Now we're going to use the walkthrough so I don't have to remember all that dribble. You're not done yet. 
All oh, right, I haven't found a gift yet. You also haven't talked to everybody yet. It's exciting dialogue. I know. I already gave her one of those flowers. You have a different flower. Yeah, I do. And she killed me for offering it to her. Yeah, because it wasn't part of her dress. So, in what world is it okay that when you're trying to help a fairy dress themselves, you offer them a rose and they kill you? It wasn't for the killing of the rose, it was just the fact that you fucked up so much. It d doesn't matter, that's what the result was. In what world... This world. Is this a decent fairy tale? After all, the gnomes killed your other guy, too. They're not killed, they're just cursed. What's the difference? Are you going to do Death Care for this game? Sure. All two of them? Yeah. No. Ha ha ha. Sometimes I do have a good memory, but today it was not a good day, and I'm not going to have a good memory today. Yeah, fair enough. Doc Jennifer, fuck again. That's what I'm doing. How did you overhear this? He is really fucking good hearing. How do you take a long walk by the lakeside? Well, one of them would fly and the other would swim, but yeah. Therefore, neither is walking. We're chatting with the breeze, refreshing our scales. A fairy has scales. Yeah, a fairy has scales. <clears> Throat ache she catches every time we have her walk. the thing and about the gift so you just need the gift in the poem I'm happy I talked to everybody but the fairies I go talk to the fairies oh you're asking about the death counter because I'm gonna die Maybe. Okay, and it's all in the colors. Yeah, you know, so we're done. Um, this isn't a maybe. This is a you already know I'm gonna die. I actually didn't fuck up with the sprig and make on the suit, so I'm not sure. I figured trying to be more jovial with a joker would have worked, but hey, what do I know? Cyrano. Give me Cyrano de Bergerac, which is actually a fairly interesting story. I've not read the original, but I've seen the movie Roxanne, which is based on it. Yep. It was a 
A very interesting movie. Yep, and it's basically... Which is the best option? I don't know. Not the gluttonous springs. No. That's another hint if you fuck up. I remember being by the lake makes makes her sick. Yeah. She starts coughing. Yeah. I don't know. She likes butterflies, so we're talking about insects. Which is weird, she'd be butterflies. She would like to hang out with a butterfly. Where did the butterfly thing come from? The gnome artist that you glossed over because you were losing your focus. Oh, okay. I lost my focus because I was too, too busy focusing on the stupid splotch on his hat. Hat. Didn't help. <laughs> you see, he, the prince was supposed to focus on the splotch's hat, not you. With this game, I have no idea. Go to the inside, the center out, too. Might make it a little easier. Not really. Oh, and the red one has to be moved, finally. The red one in the center actually has to be moved. One way in, it kind yeah. of makes it obvious. All right, you click the center. Going in Going Oh, that was amazing! I'm kind of annoyed it didn't show the cutscene in the beginning. Yeah, well, it didn't even give the option. Yeah. And there's no options anywhere for it, which is kind of rude. By the way, there are two mods for this game that are made by the developers. One, so you can be a princess for asking a prince. But apparently they haven't changed the dialogue for that, so it sounds weird. They often say prince. Yeah, and princess. Kind of thing. Um... Yeah, see, it's looking good. Anyways, and the other one is to have it snow for winter and Christmas. The dialogue is just text. It wouldn't have been hard to switch. I know, that was one of the uh, comments about it. I'm like, eh. Oh no, it's that pattern again. <laughs>
Is that really all there is to this? Well, guess we're gonna find out. Yeah, it's gonna kill me, isn't it? Gonna be a uh, um, illithid. Ah, oh, brains! Oh. What? What? Well, head back down. I'm guessing that's a thing that just happens if you fail at all. Yep, if you fail at all, you have to go bring the correct one back. And I'll let you know right now because it's um you only have two choices. It's basically the first prince. I was figuring that. Yeah. Um when there's multiple princes and multiple deaths around that What? <laughs> you've killed. Um it kind of gets hard to remember. It got hard for me to remember which one was the first one. I was like, I knew it was one of the gnomes. I had failed there a couple times. There's like three gnomes. I'm like, ah, fuck, what do I do? interesting seeing all the different princes' outfits and stuff through the game, though. Yeah, well... Having the different deaths and stuff. I'm not you gonna see them enough. all. Yeah. Actually, it gives a little bit of a difference of cutscene, too, apparently. Oh, okay, you can tell that they're true love because he's the blonde one. Two blonde people. Of course, that's how it works. I Even guess. they never met, so yeah. how could they possibly be true whatever? Oh, and he's supposed to be Prince Charming. I would not have been able to do so by myself. And all the heroes who saved me. See, what's interesting is apparently she has enough friends that um, all the different princes will show up, you know, that you did through the storyline and stuff, um, with different girls here. See? I mean, you only had the two. Inspired by Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, it's really obvious. But since you only had two other princes, it's going to be a short parade. But it's interesting that there's a woman for each prince, and then, or so it's just like, yeah, and Princess Aurora in inspired by. Anyways, that's it. That's a little Briar Rose short game. I think I got it for like five bucks. Cause it was on sale. I'm like, you know what? That is pretty decent. Not great, but. What'd you think of it? I really didn't care for it. Hmm. You're also asking somebody who doesn't like adventure games, so... Yeah. You're asking the wrong person. Is there anything you did like about it? The art. The art was cute. What'd you think of the music? Did not care for the music. Mm. It... 
Well, you've been doing more stuff about video game music. What would you... Why do you not like the music? It was largely very random and forgettable. A lot of the music in it was very dissonant. And just... It didn't seem to have much of a theme. And the synthetic instruments they picked were not very good. Yeah. I think this one's decent for a short one that's cheap and made by an indie company. Okay. You'll have to go off of her opinion more than mine. Yes. I don't however, like games. however, this is just the exact same castle reflected, by the way. Yeah. Um, I didn't choose this one because I. This re- bush is a little bit bit different. I'm gonna and say that this, this one's a little different from this one, but. This it, isn't this one is of my castle. favorite ones by an indie team or anything else. I just I chose to change the glass up here. I chose this one it's because exactly it was short reflection. and it was pretty. And I'm like I don't even think this is a super difficult art style to do, to be honest. Let me tell Oh, and now, now we it, get the cutscene. Now it does the intro. Okay, well we're watching the intro now. <laughs> Is it talking? How a queen the wrong one is scorned. Is it talking? Yeah, it's talking. It's doing the Dark Souls thing where you have a narrator who's super slow. In a kingdom lost for many a year. Although she's not speaking super slowly, there's just Guests enormous pauses. Were picked with care, lest the wicked fairy appear. Yeah, that never ends well. But she wanted revenge for such an abuse. Uninvited came she with an... And this is why you invite the evil fairies and give them stuff so they don't be angry at you. She live long. The hag cursed and broke loose. A spindle will prick her. In death she shall drift. From fairies In death she shall drift? A spell to help out. But the evil was strong. They're trying to rhyme. I know they're rhyming. The worst was averted, but as fates played out, the girl fell asleep, and the kingdom did too. See, this game does have talking. Yeah. A kiss will save her, one of true love, but many have tried and met their demise. Of that prince, though, pure like a dove, some say he'll go far. To prove otherwise. Okay. What are you doing now? Whatever. Maybe I clicked it when the game started. I probably did because I don't tend to think about that. Oh. I still find it very odd that this entire game is done at 720p, even hmm. though we're running it at 1080. Yeah. It still looks but see, wonky. Yeah, this is one of those things like assets and um, having your own art style. On my 4K screen, it looked really weird. Having your own art style makes it a big deal. Let me tell a tale, my child. Yes, having your own art style. Style is a big deal, having your own music. Which is why... Having spoken dialogue? Well, yeah, but um, we're going to have a lot of games that don't. The thing is, is that I, mean, I wanted to for, do this in for comparison... The format for... we're doing here with le- the Let's Play Blinds kind of is to our benefit not to have much dialogue. Uh, much actual talking, like l- look how annoying King's Quest V was. But that was because we also didn't have subtitles. Where if we talked over it, it wasn't a big deal. Yeah. The thing is... I'm just just keep doing that. Yes. The thing is, is that... um, I mainly also chose this one because it was short and it would be a break from um, Cubiscape because it has different assets and they're not... I mean, yeah, they don't have a multiple... They haven't made 15 of the goddamn games, but I mean, at least they're working on making it look unique, not like generic assets. The first Cube Escape didn't look generic. It's just after six games and they're still the same. Yeah. 
Yeah. Honestly, though, if they continued this art style, as long as they did different assets, like if they did um, some of the other Grimm's Fairy Tales or whatever, I think it would be fine. But again, art style with different assets are important. Like if they did one about the three bears or something. Yeah, I could see that. Anyways, I'm done. Alrighty. Well, is this a break or do you want something else? Again. Um, let's just get on with Rusty Light. <laughs> get over with. Oh, oh, why did I say that? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>